Hey there, I'm Heather Vaughn. I'm the Communication and Marketing Specialist for Triangle Veterinary Referral Hospitals, and I'm with Dr. Kate Kamen. She's one of our emergency doctors, and we're going to talk a little bit about toxicities, things that we see this time of year around the Easter holiday. Dr. Heyman, plants, like we can't go over enough. Now, while this plant's not poisonous, there are a lot of plants we see this time of year that are very toxic to your pets. Yeah, the big thing that we get worried about at this time, especially with Easter, is lilies. Um, so these are highly toxic, certain types of lilies to kitty cats, even if they just simply get the pollen on their nose or they drink some water out of the vase that the plant is sitting in. Um, I cannot highly stress enough that we should be very extra careful about what sort of plants we're bringing into the house um, as far as things go. And what about planting? Some people are doing a lot of planting, maybe in honor of Easter, they might be planting a lily or azaleas yeah. or things like that outside. Yeah. Yeah, so we just have to be mindful, you know, if you have a kitty cat who does take excursions outdoors, um, that is possibly something if you are planting certain types of lilies, um, your cat can potentially be exposed to that. Um, and what would be some symptoms that perhaps yeah. they've eaten the plant? Yeah, so um, what it causes is, is uh, toxicity to their kidneys, so it can put them into kidney failure, um, which of course is a very serious problem, but things that people might notice are they're lethargic, they're tired, um, their appetite is going down, they might be nauseous with some vomit. Uh, they just overall don't don't feel right. Um, so if you do have the suspicion that there potentially could have been exposure to lilies, um, the best thing to do is, is um, get them into the vet as soon as possible. Um, generally what we do um, is we, uh, come, uh, we have discussions with um, animal poison control um, basically for saying you know what are our concerns and helping guide us as far as what we can do with treatment and, and follow-up things like that. And one other thing that is toxic that we most people know about, but you've got Easter baskets this time of year. Lots of them are lying around, maybe chocolate eggs and things yeah. like that, but those are very bad for your animals. Yeah, so chocolate toxicity is a concern. Um, sort of yeah, chocolate, it kind of acts like a caffeine derivative in a way, and that sometimes, you know, they can get simpler signs such as tummy upset um, if they get a lower dose, um, but it, it can get more serious as far as hyperactivity, restlessness, um, elevated heart rate with arrhythmias, tremors. Um, so again, we advise if you're concerned that your dog to get it, did get into chocolate, um, to get evaluated by your family vet um, as soon as possible. The other thing about Easter baskets, as they have that really awesome sort of long grass stuff that you can put in for your kids, cats love to chew on that. And what we have concern with is if they chew on those long pieces of, of, uh, of grass, plastic grass, that they can um, basically f form an obstruction in their abdomen, um, in their intestines. So be very mindful with that to keep it away from your kitty cats. And again, if you see something that's out of the norm, call us. We're open 24 seven. We have emergency hospitals in Durham and Holly Springs. We're always ready for you to provide that next level of care for you.